best open nine ball championship between Efren Bata Reyes and uh, Mika Imonen. Now it's Mika Imonen breaking the ball. And this is rock number one. One ball in. One ball in during the break. It's a combination shot, but he missed it. Mikai Monin missed the combination shot, and it's Efren Reyes' turn. And he was able to prepare ball number one, and it's just close to the corner. Very nice positioning to ball number two. Going to the corner. And it's also wide open to ball number three. Going to the corner. Also wide open to ball number four. quite a bit a long shot but we'll see and he made it ball number six is just around the corner or the side pocket Hugh will go around the nine to make it ready to ball number eight. And it's wide open. Ball number eight to the corner. It's not too bad. And Efren Reyes wins the rock. On a lot of matches on this table, so therefore, if anyone knows the characteristic of this table in terms of breaking the ball, you yeah. do. I'll bet you breakfast the six goes. Now it's Efren Reyes breaking the ball, and it's rock number two. Breakfast the one. <laughs> no, I'll tell you, that's about the percentage. It's been going eight out of ten times, and maybe the one in the side also. Oh, Rock number two. Anyway, the, uh, the six missed by a hair, but I, I was wrong. But look at the way they stopped. Okay, very quickly, you can see that the three is in the open near the lower right-hand corner. The four is up table adjacent to the cue ball. The five ball is to the right of the foot spot. The six is near the left-hand rail near the side pocket. The seven is underneath the black eight. So from the six to the seven, Ball number three is just around the corner pocket. Also from the five to the six. So therefore, he's going to have to come up with a good angle on the five. Now he's looking to see if the five will pass the seven. Because that's the pocket he would like to play position for, for the five. Yeah. If he plays position for that corner pocket, then he can go around the table freely without having to go into the possible interfering seven ball. So therefore, he's going to play position for the, for the five in the lower left-hand corner. And actually, once he moves the five, falling on the seven is an easier shot because he doesn't have that to contend with. But he's got to come up with a pretty good shot on the six that carries a good angle to drop nicely for the seven. Right. So 
therefore he has some work in this rack. Yeah, but that's what he gets paid for. Ball number four to the corner. And he's been getting paid pretty well lately. He is one of the uh, most uh, successful pool players ever, financially. Okay, now this is kind of uh, interesting. He's, he's rather flat on the five. He's going to end up shooting the stick from the upper left-hand corner, but he must come up Number five is now wide open to the corner. Football, which, which indicates, or at least tells me, that no, he's not going to play position with the, for the stick from the upper left-hand corner. He's looking to play position for the stick from the lower left-hand corner. That could be a problem. He's yeah. Really, he's really not comfortable with this, Danny. No, he got funny. He'd be all right here if he can make this and sit right on that side rail. He'll have an angle to get to the seven. If he goes that way, which he did. Now, now nice shot to now number five, five, and now it's open to really ball number six. So he took a look at the other possibility and end up shooting this one here, which I feel so he made the correct decision, particularly now the way he laid on the six. Very he nice made it. Executed, nicely run out. It was a nice run out. And it's well open to ball number seven. Ball number seven to the corner. Yeah, there's not any problem here. And, and, you know, and Mika could start thinking about last rack when he missed. You know, it's all you have to do with someone like Efren is make one mistake and you're way in the hole. Particularly as we pocket at the one in the side because that ball he's Nice playing. positioning so to he has the ball number eight. Pocketing the one on the side. Mika may not have too many appearances at the table. Number eight to the corner, and now it's nine. Just around the corner, just around the uh, side pocket. And Evan Reyes wins again this rack. It also goes that first way, leads to the nothing, the short race for seven. And again, you're going to have to sit there, Mika, and hope. Again, Efren Reyes breaking the ball, and it's rock number three. Games here, and I have watched a few, and it's the corner. I say the eight goes in the right-hand corner pocket. Straight in. A very nice strong break. The both of those been going, but that's the ball. He's got two balls during the break. Fortunately for Eminem, the two ball found up behind the orange five. He got two balls in during the break. Offensive shot. He has to look elsewhere. I think he's going to try to fan the two and put him behind the nine. He's got a good safe there, and he's got such good cue ball control. That's, that's, that's excellent. what he's doing. Excellent. Now right. it's a and safety right shot, right. and it's well covered. And I've been talking for a very nice safety and shot by Efren Reyes. It's way bigger if you freeze the guy on the ball you're snuffling him with because it takes away a whole bunch of kicks. Now, that's the stress of being able to pocket balls on the break. And I said a little earlier that if he's pocketing the one on the side with regularity, then he has control of the table. When you give Efren Reyes control of the table, it doesn't much matter if the ball's laying well or not. He's going to figure out a way to win the game. You know what he's got? Efren Reyes gave his opponent a very hard time. He's got that and I don't think there's a way the Mika Imonen can hit the ball. The ball number two, elevate, it's, it's well covered by ball, ball number nine. Right over the nine and you got a chance to make the two. Well, you know, you're a very, very creative man and you're a very creative player. And the more <laughs> I look at the situation, the more I have a tendency to have agree with that. Yeah. If he elevates over the nine, shooting the cue ball into the right side rail, if the, if the cue ball is a jump over the nine and hit the two. A very, very low percentage shot, but he may not have anything else. No. Now, it's a low percentage, but it's going to be lower percentage to uh, do anything other than that and hit the two. And, and, you know, in this spot, if he had any possibilities at all, when I say there's an impossible kick, or near impossible kick. Let us see what he can do to this can. kind of situation. Well, unfortunately, Reyes has actually frozen the shoe ball. Solid A very well covered actually ball number two. From tying up any balls because the only two balls that he can see are the nine and the three. And I don't believe he can tie up either one of those two. So therefore, he has to do something. This is good. Now look, he's gonna shoot your shot. Well, I hope so because he's supposed to know the shot. 
or even well, you've got to have it in your repertoire you know for this particular situation well if he elevates too much now what he wants to do he wants to hit the rail and bend it he's elevating too much no he wants to hit the rail and bend it danny he's, oh he's, he's going to go past it he's mad right. saying he's that bending. i think. I think he's bending it yeah so okay. therefore he didn't he didn't recognize the shot. it's a bad shot it, but he, he did have a legitimate shot at bending it but he wasn't able to do it reyes now so evan reyes can bring the cue ball to the best Position. Near the lower right hand corner, four ball adjacent from the side pocket. Five ball in the open, the center, near the center of the table. Six near the side pocket, seven, nine. Shouldn't be any problem. You see, you see how close he got It's a nice three. position to ball number three. When you're playing going that, to the corner. Trying to get close when you can get a chance to do that. You know, you could be a foot more away. But well spread balls. A number four because to the, the pocket. side pocket. Go around table again here. One, two, three, Easy shot. Close to the five, and you're going to go toward the five in line. And a cue ball going closer one, to position. ball number five. Got to draw it back a few feet. Get number five to there. the corner. Oh, you don't have to. Just with a stop it, shot. Right in the corner. Yeah, don't do more work than you have to. But particularly if you feel good about your ball pocket. You know, if you pocket balls, you're comfortable follow with shot. your ability to pocket balls. Then you play Making it ready to ball number seven and to I the corner pocket. Once you do that, I think that your runout percentage goes way up. Because, you, because when you move the cue ball... Ball number nine is just is. around the corner yeah, pocket. Right. right. But when he gets in this and Efren Reyes wins the again this round. I'm sorry. I, I cut in on you. Go ahead. Okay. Okay. And it's a 3 0. This year, I'm proud to say, for my 30th. Oh, my, I do apologize. What have you been doing? I'm sorry. Okay. Of the 30 tournaments, or the 29 year hosted. Now it's again Efren Reyes breaking the ball. And it's Rock, number four. Oh, talking about tournament play, talking about the U.S. Open? Yes, you are. Well, you know, it's, it's a very tough question. In the early Rock, years, number four, a very nice, strong break. After Siegel, uh, and still, to, to this day, Earl Triplett. Mm -hmm. But uh, listen, Reyes, uh, uh, you, it's amazing. He won it one time in 94. And Nick Barnes is the only person ever went back to back in 89 and 90. So and Reyes one ball in during the break. But, uh, you know, it's a tough question. Back in the seven, uh, late 70s, early 80s, Mike Siegel, hands down, the greatest player. Um, and then, of course, Earl took over after that. And, and, and it's still playing great pool. And look at Reyes. Strong, strong. Ball number one Ball is Reyes open to the side so pocket. It's a question to answer for one, one person. It's just, it's it, uh, 70s, 80s, 90s now when you're in 2000. Right. So, and beyond. And he so made it. a tough it. question. Um, um, so, uh, making the okay. cue ball open <laughs> to ball number two. <laughs> Thank you. Know, Okay, you're going to have the uh, U.S. Open once again this year. And what are the dates? Yes, sir. Open? Proud to say again, the 30th annual U.S. Open Nine-Ball Championship will be held September 19th through the 25th at the Chesapeake Conference Center in Chesapeake, Virginia. The big three. Nice years. positioning but, to uh, ball number three. That, if, if I can get a plug in, I'm uh, going to host the Masters again. Oh, I see. Um, at Q Master Billiards, the Masters is back at Q Masters, May 24th through the 28th. Uh, open to 128 players, $200 entrance fee. Anybody can play, and I'm handing 10000 And it's at Q Masters, and I'll be open on uh, all week. And this is the second second year you've had the Masters. Yeah, I had the Masters uh, three years ago, Billy, and uh, um, wrong time um, at the wrong venue. And now that I've remodeled Q Masters, the tournament room with uh, just gorgeous uh, seating and new carpet, and, you know, once again, new theater seats. Uh, the, the, the players just tell me they love that room. For playing purposes, uh, atmosphere wise, conditions. So, I'm going to have ball number five to the corner each and every year uh, in May. Uh, and this year it's May 24th through 28th. And this year's 10,000. And uh, as uh, they'll be open over the years, next year it'll be maybe 20,000. We'll see. But I'm certainly sure. Very nice are positioning to ball number eight. The Masters, because whenever you put on a tournament, it's really a well run event. Thank you, Bill. Sure you, you've, you've, taught, you've taught me well over the years. <laughs> Stop Amber ball. Reyes, while we were talking, making yeah, it. Yeah. Well, okay, anyway. In a nice position to ball number nine. Very and he very made this rock again. Evan Reyes wins this rock. It is a 4 0. Make another appearance at the table. Oh, he 
Ever Ray is breaking the ball again. And this is rough, number five. A very nice, strong break. And one ball in to the side pocket. He's going to have to do something with this particular shot, Danny. Interesting set. Efren is shooting a thousand, and it looks like uh, Minka was shooting three oh three, three three three. But that's because yeah, he made one ball. That's why, and then an error. Ball number two only has a small opening. We'll see. Every Reyes is making a cross bank on a two ball. You know, he has a cross bank on the two. I do believe he will take this with insidingly and hitting the thin side. It's another hard time to make a morning. Twice cross corner. Two ball then go back down this end of the table. A very long, thin shot. Let's see. I wouldn't pass this shot back to Reyes. It's not an automatic save. You know, he's thinking about passing back, but again, when you're losing three nothing, your decisions are a little different. He's going to have too many things going for him here, Danny. He's going to he's going to create some distance in between both the two ball and the one ball. There's a chance he might bank the two cross corner. If he does that, he may not end up with a shot on the red three. So therefore, he has to shoot the shot on the thin side and not really trying to bank the two cross corner. A very thin shot. To ball number two. That's what he did, and it's going to be a decent one. Okay, now he's left Reyes a shot on the two, a very, very difficult one, but a shot. He may yeah, try it's to cut uh, also a difficult, thin shot thin, going to the corner pocket. For the three, it's a long, know, thin it's shot. Tough enough, but now if you want to play position for the three, you got to use a little reverse English. At this distance, that's left-hand English on the test. I don't think he... he uh, even the great Efren is a very tough shot. So he's trying to do that, though. And he made it. See, this was the problem. He All made it. You know. A very thin shot. Long shot. shot. Yes, the position did. was so tough. Yes, it was. It, it, was it, it was just too much to ask of yourself to possibly cut the two in and come up with a shot on the red tree. But right this is a big problem. The he covers the cue ball to ball number to it, eight. Ball number eight and ball number five covering the cue ball. He really didn't do anything wrong yet, but when he misses this kick, he'll lose some points. This is a difficult kick to hit. I say when he misses it. It's a tough kick. He's going to have to shoot a little wide of the seven or a little wide of this. And he's making a bank shot. Going to the three. He hit it. And he hit it. He hit Not it. Only did he hit it. He, he made it in the he side on a kiss. He hit it straight. And it goes to the side oh, pocket. It's a very long shot. Short, a very long shot made by Efren Reyes. You earn, you, you earn the right to get lucky. I have a saying about that. You got to play well enough to have a chance to get Aside from being a magician, he is also a lucky one. That was a tough kick. And now it's open to ball number five. Or ball number four, rather. Going to the corner pocket. <laughs> and he certainly plays good enough to get lucky. Well, exactly right, because the kick was a difficult kick. Not only did he hit it, but he hit it solidly, which gave him more of an opportunity or a chance to get lucky. So therefore, Very nice spread of the balls. Six to the corner, seven to the, the rest side pocket. Like, uh, Tic-tac-toe, nothing to it. And eight is just around the side pocket. Making ready the cue ball to the nine. He don't want to say anything. He wants to pray for another shot. Another win by Efren Reyes. It's a 5-0. It's a 5-0 score. He just doesn't know, you know, what he can do and, and, and why this is all happening like this. You know, because prior to coming into this... He got five game, straight wins over Mika you know, Imonen. He's playing well. He's breaking well. So therefore, and he's got a, he's got a high confidence level. Yeah. So therefore, you have to think like that. It's my turn. 
But Reyes is his ticket right away, folks. Yeah, see, folks. Uh, Reyes a grand breaking the ball. Championship pool like this, but Mika is not having fun right now. And this is rock number six. Okay, he was able to pop strong break side, made, made by Efren Reyes. In the other two in the, in, in the other side. He's got a shot. And he's got a nice pocket a two ball on the side. For the three. Right. In other words, what Billy's saying is you only have to make the one and you're on the three. It isn't like you gotta do anything extra. So just pocket the one, you're falling on the three. Now the angle that he has here suggests to me that the cue ball after departing in that bottom cushion is gonna go toward that side pocket. Right over here, Reyes is walking over there to find out what he needs to do to stay out of the side. Now, if he applies English on the shot, then he decreases the accuracy of the shot. So therefore, this shot isn't that simple. He's going to put a little left on it, I believe. That'll straighten it out. And he a won't very long shot. Oh, look at this shot. A very he long, thin shot, but he made it. How you like yeah, that? That's right. He well, says, Russ, he needed to get back down here for the uh, four. That was another reason he went that way. And that's why he's smarter than you and I. Oh, most certainly. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. We're looking at coming to the three, two rails. Blah, blah, blah. But then position from the three to the four would be tough. He already looked past that. Okay, now the angle that he has on the three looks like to me that it's laying rather rather awkwardly because the side, if he follows it in the corner, the side pocket may be in the way. If he goes to the side with the three, he's on the wrong side of the table with the cue ball. So therefore, you know, he's got some problems here. Well, he can draw the ball between the nine and seven and go one rail, too. Like this. Wow, what a call and what a shot. Pocket at three on the okay, side. Shot. Now, well, that's, that's what perfect I'm, execution. Perfect. That's what I'm saying about him. He is in that, what Michael Jordan called. Very nice positioning to ball number four. It doesn't matter where he's at. He's running out, it looks like. You know, Mika has no prayer to, to get a shot here. I wouldn't bet against him running the rest of the set up. No. And the shot now it's five in the quarter pocket. Took. Making it it's ready to ball number six. Perfect execution, and that's what he did. And once again, executed it perfectly. When a player is playing like this, it looks easy. There was nothing easy about Long travel of ball number six going to the quarter. But he made it. Making the cue ball open to seven. Which is just around the corner. He had an illness and he's recovering from it. And for a while, he, he was a little bit in a slump. But you know nice positioning to ball number eight. You know, I think you're right. I've been watching him play this week. I watched him play a lot of one pocket with this match play, I'm watching him play in the tournament, and I'm watching him now, and uh, I think you're right. I think, I think he's playing as well Clearly. now as I've ever seen him play. Right. He's playing to where he gets a shot, he's out, you know, and you got no, this is Now it's play. also, as you know, it's tough to prepared play. for number nine, and he made it. Another wins by Efren Reyes. And did it two years ago. It's a six consecutive well, wins well, it's one of, the only times of Efren Reyes. <laughs> but anyway, you know the, the big thing about Efren? Now it's he six zero. To show any big ego. Am I right? He's not Again, Efren Reyes is breaking the ball, right? and it is rock number seven. Well, you know, he let this stick do a all very strong yeah. break. Yeah. That's what it's all about. Yeah. You know what I mean? And when you listen to people say how good they are, who they beat, and whatever, okay, that's all fine and well. But the, you're and a ball in again during the break. Well, he made the end ball, but he doesn't have a good shot, so he's going to have to play it safe. And neither will imminent when he comes to the table. Yeah, he's not going to like it. It's a very nice well, safety well, shot made next. by Efren Reyes. I do believe he can see the bottom of the one. You know, if Reyes does have a weak point in this game, I think it's his killer. I don't really think he has the killer of a Mike Spiegel or a Buddy Hall well, or he, someone like that, you know? He just looks that way, though. Some people look that way, and they're stone killers. But a anyway, very thin yeah, shot, little, and it's uh, also a safety shot by Mika Imonen. That's the shot he's got. And someone in the audience said, come on, Mika. <laughs> they're not the dude. Okay. It's He's only possible for a kick shot. Of this, of this one and, and glance towards the nine ball. He may end up kicking the one behind the five. Well, it looks like he's hitting it, to tell you the truth. Yeah. 
Yeah, oh, did. it's a thin well, shot. He did hit that. Yeah, he was cutting it. He overcut it. He thin shot, that. and he it's uh, safety. Hasn't done really anything that wrong. Safety shot made I by Efren Reyes. Really he has a pocket for the one. Yeah. And if you if he plays the billiard, you can't control the one. It'll be difficult for him to There's no the pocket. So therefore, you know, the ball number one. Come easy for him in it. Nothing. Nothing at all. He needs an easy start. And look where the three is sitting. Nothing is that you know. And sometimes the balls just will not cooperate. And in this instance, the balls, and so far in this match, the balls have not cooperated for imminent. Well, you know what it is. You know, I believe firmly in this. The balls are telling them you shouldn't have missed in that first rack, and now you're going to get punished. And that's, what it's, that's what's happening here. Well, you, you can afford to make a mistake or two against the... Yeah, mere, um, mere human. Just, just an upper echelon player. Yeah, right? mere human. <laughs> but when you're playing someone from Mars, you better not do right. that. Right. Okay, now he played the It's a line. perfect fist shot, shot by B.K. Monin. And making a cue ball also ready for ball number one, although it's a very long shot. There is a pocket for ball number three. But I don't know about getting to the two very easily. I think that if he pockets the one, he may brush the pink four and send them toward the two. Okay, we'll see. This is tricky at any rate. And that's what you expect when a guy's losing six nothing. Oh, he was Pocketed one. Before, oh, what a shot. Right before the two. And, and making the ball ready on the two, to ball number two. Cross table for the three. Now, this shot, keep in mind, is a difficult shot because he's going to have to hit it with speed. And when you hit this type of a shot with speed, that pocket gets real small. Plus, you got to get straight in on the three, or you have no no chance for position. Must get straight in on the three. Well, he missed the ball. It's like you said, Billy. He just just hanging two number two ball along the I, corner. You know, it wasn't a Mickey Mouse layout. Too much work to do, and it's losing six nothing against Efren. He just didn't handle. Not it. a good luck. Well, you got to admit it was a tough. Me came on in. Absolutely. Another chance. Another chance yeah, for Efren. Get out that now, That's not going to work. Too tough. That's not going to work. He's going to be able. He's going to have a, duh, a little top shot on the three. Yeah, unless but he cross sides it. It's going to be hard he shot could, to Efren. Ball number seven. It's conducive to coming up with a shot on the four in terms of the, of the of speed, speed of the cue ball. The speed looks like the bank will make the cue ball go too fast. Now, here we go. He's going to put maximum right hand English on, the, English on this shot, cut the three in the corner, and float the cue ball cross table. This shot, if he shoots this shot, this certainly demands the most accurate of him. He put his finger <laughs> on the spot he would like to be when the three is over. Let's see if he can get there. And it was a little bit south of the second diamond. And if he's able to execute this shot, this is something we'll go back on because it's going to be a beautifully no. executed He shot. played safe instead. And that's what else the I get. It's a very had. nice and, and safety. safety. Oh, yeah. It was a safety yeah, shot made by Efren Reyes. But, but what you Another said, hard time to uh, Mika Monin. Yeah. Another hard time to hit the object. If he shot that shot because of all those interfering balls. Right. If he missed it, he had a chance to do this. Of course, it turned out better than that. He's got a two-rail kick. This is a big ball. I think he'd hit it anyway. It's a bank-to-bank -bank shot, but he failed. Well, hitting it's ball number seven. Attack your bag effort here. It's a big he error. Bank-to-bank no -bank shot. This is the semifinals. It's the final tournament in our three-tournament package. And truly, he can pass Now, Efren Reyes can position the ball to the best position he wants to. Getting the trophy, winning the eyeball of that, you know? I'm sure and, he did. And to watch this, you know, if you're making imminent, you really had to be pretty frustrated. You know, because he is playing well. But a very a nice positioning for ball number seven. Particularly if you fall behind by three or four or five games. Yeah. And you look at something, you know, Double difficult. And that's what he has done. He looked at the uh, rack that was very difficult. This, this, this is my favorite layout. We're not going to do uh, an interview. We're going to wait till the final match is over because they're going to be playing shortly and we don't want to get their brain off their uh, work. 
Seven nothing. Efren Reyes wins the game over Mika Imonen. A race to seven, open nine ball championship. And the game ended to uh, the score of 7-0, a straight in favor of Efren Bata Reyes, also known as the magician. And thank you so much, guys, for watching. Hope to see you in my next video.